Okay, guys, so before we go ahead and move on to assigning IPs and testing this uh, all this configuration, let me assign OPS cough because Ethernet um, has uh, a cost of 10, and then Serial Link Series has a cost of, I believe, it's 64. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set up the assign, for example, leave this a cost of 10, then give this one 20, this one 10. Uh, perhaps this one 30, this one 20, um, and give it different costs here as well as this interface. But we have priority set, so we may not need to assign uh, costs here. But um, uh, so we can do that on these interfaces. Okay, I'm gonna assign it for just one router. It's the same configuration for every interface. So basically, we are in config mode here. Um, we're going to go to interface ethernet 0 slash 0 and router 1 and we just put IP OSPF and we select here there's a lot of things to select but we're going to put cost okay so cost um, it already has a cost of 20 of 10 but I'm just going to make sure I have it there so let's do exit um here let's go to interface ethernet zero slash one which is this one here and let's do ip ospf cost of 20 okay and let's go to interface ethernet zero slash two ip ospf cost of 10. okay so i don't need to um so i already set up the ospf cost I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'm going to assign the OSPF cost to the rest of the um, routers. All right, so welcome back. I've signed the OSPF cost to each router. So let's do a do show run. Okay, and let's verify it. I make sure that the other side has the same OSPF cost. So for example, this is Ethernet 0 slash 0. This is redundant to put it because its default is 10 on the internet, but I just uh, put it there. She's showing you how to do it on this router 2, the Ethernet 0 slash 0 to show run. It should be uh, as well cost of 10. It's not there because it's, uh, it's the default cost of the interface. Okay. But for example, in this one right here, Ethernet 0 slash 3, put a cost of 20. Then I make sure in router 5 on Ethernet do show run on Ethernet 0 slash 3, I would put a cost of 20 as well. Okay, so let's make sure that you save your configuration. So do WR, okay, for this one, do WR, do write, basically, do write do right and do right okay perfect so we save all our configuration now let's go ahead and set up this VM let me start it let me pause the video and just wait until uh, I uh, start all the, the virtual machines um, let me go ahead and jump to the VM Make sure I have the correct password here. So we're gonna assign a static IP. The static IP that I'm gonna want to assign is 10.1.9.10, let's say. Uh, duplicate that. This one is gonna be dot eleven. Okay, and this one is already has a, an IP address, a static IP address. Okay, so I'm going to go to properties, uh, networking, turn in settings, I'm going to go to um, view network properties. No, sorry. Uh, where do we go here? Uh, change connection network properties. No, Ethernet. 
go to status where was it i went change adapter options there you go properties internet protocol use ip okay so the ip address we said was 10.9.1.10 and i believe that's what i said 10.1.9.10 yep subnet mask is 255 255.224 which is a slash 27 making sure yep okay default gateway is 10.9.1.1 make sure is that 10.1.9.1 10.1 that uh, I think I got this IP wrong in that line. This is one nine at ten. Ten that one that nine that one is a virtual IP, the gateway, and ten that one that nine that ten. Okay. Okay, the DNS is gonna be ten that one that nine that ten just use the same IP close okay take that see this network six okay we click yes then we go to the CMD let me minimize this and let's see if we can ping ten dot one that ten that ten yes we can can we access the web uh, site so is ten dot one dot ten dot ten yes we can all right perfect so let's go ahead and do a let's do something here um let's shut down this interface here first of all let's see let's do a tracer 10.1.10.10 see where what's our path that it takes us okay it's going this way should go this way this way right here yep and then 10.1.3.1 and then it reaches the destination okay perfect all right uh, let's go ahead and shut down this interface here say something went wrong already in router let's go to router 4 so go to interface ethernet 1 slash 0 and before we do that let's see if we can do a continuous ping so I let me see if I remember this ping 10.1.10.10 things that T okay um, let's go to router 4 let's do shutdown so we should see request timeout request timeout we should see pick it up anytime soon do we notice it in the website so it's not picking it up yeah waiting for a response something is it's not right because we're getting a request time out so perhaps did i shut down this interface let me exit here um i think i let me no shot this one do no shot let's do interface let's do one thing here because the trace route that we did is going through this one so if I shut down both it's not gonna go nowhere so let's 
let's go to uh, do show IP and brief and make sure everything is up so okay everything is up go to router 4 do show IP and brief everything is up okay so let's exit here do show standby priority 110 do show standby priority 120 okay so it shoots shoes let me assign an OSPF cost to this interfaces so interface Ethernet 1 through 1 1 that 1 for this one I'll do IP OSPF cost of 10 is just already implied let's do um, for this one let's do 20 interface Ethernet 1 slash 0 IP OSPF cost 20 okay so let's go ahead and do a a ping to 10 that 1 that 10 that 10 let's do a continuous ping okay let's go ahead and shut down router 5 so we're already in the interface so we're gonna shut it down okay it should choose this way let's do a trace rod it's not it's not working right do trace cert to 10 that one that 10 that 10 see where is the connection okay 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 so i don't know why so we can ping it Okay, so why didn't the continuous ping and now it's showing this one, showing the actual collection. Maybe I didn't wait enough. So it's showing right because we shut down this interface right here. So let's verify that. Do show IP in brief. So as you can see, this one is down. So let's put it up now again. Shut, no shut. And now the tracer it should go close the internet should be fine. Yep. So now let's do tracer ten that one that ten that ten. Now it should go the other way. It should be this way, right here. okay let's do something else let's go ahead and shut down this interface here so router 5 interface ethernet 1 slash 0 and let's do shut down okay let's go back to our windows machine let's see if we can access it yes we can Let's go back here and do a trace cert. 10 that 1 that 10 that 10. So I sign here OSPF cough of 20, so it should go this way. Okay, it decremented this one. I remember now. Because we did the uh, the tracking. So it decremented, so it's going this way. Then 6.2. And then this one right here and then our destination okay perfect let's go back and make sure that it was decremented to show standby so right now it's priority of 60 so that's why it went this way okay so there you go we have HSRP working with OSPF thank you for watching and if you like this video please subscribe um, to the channels again. Thank you for watching